Hey guys, thanks for watching Cheap Shot. If you missed my live stream yesterday, that's fine. We got this video where I'm gonna show you how we're going to remove this text uh, from the side of this item uh, and how to add our own text as well as add our own image as well. Um, so this will work for, you know, any, you wanna make sure you're using the step file, don't use the STL, load your step file into Fusion 360 and then we can get started. There's a couple different ways to skin the horse. Some people, you know, one thing you can do is you can come in here you can click down here and you can raise that up. That works too, but it kind of sucks. You got to click each and every single one. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop everything all the way down, deleting everything, and then build it all the way back up. We'll put some new text in there and then we'll add an image. So first thing we want to do is we want to figure out um, <clears throat> our depths, right? So if we come in here, we can hit the inspect tool and we can see that this raised square edge is 0 0.038 inches high. And what about the lettering? The lettering is 0 0.05 inches high. So let's remember that while we do it. What we wanna do is we wanna take this whole square, like I said, bring it down our 0 0.038, bring it down our 0 0.05, and then bring everything back up 0 0.05. So I'm gonna click on this perimeter wall, and I'm gonna come over here to create a sketch. It flipped it upside down, that's fine. We don't see the text anymore because we're above that wall. It's not really a matter, it doesn't really matter. We wanna hit our two point rectangle and just see how it locks into that corner there. We'll walk into that corner, click, and bring it all the way around to the other side. Once we've done that, we can finish our sketch and we can are able to click that square we just made around it, hold shift, and click that whole section. What we want to do now is do the extrude button. We want to click that and we want to drop it 0 0.038 minus 0 0.05. That'll get that square and then that'll get all the text. We want to make sure cut is selected, hit OK. And now we got it all deleted. We got this big chunk of square on our print. We don't want that. So we can just click here in the middle, make sure this square is highlighted and we can extrude that up. We know it's 0 0.05, so we can either type in 0 0.05. Another thing that we can do is we can change extend from distance to object, and we can click this flat surface here, and it'll bring it up just in line with that. Hit OK. And there we have it, we've deleted the text. We can print this if we wanted, that'd be fine. We have a little defect right here where that uh, square came over, but that's fine, you're not really gonna notice that. What if we wanna add our own text? Let's say I wanna put cheap shot up there. Well, that's easy. I can just click the surface, create a sketch. Are you noticing a trend? Click a surface, create a sketch, and I can flip it around. You don't have to, but we'll make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. And let's come over here to create, and let's add some text. We'll line up where we want it. We'll put it around right there. We'll say cheap shot. If I can spell, we can change, you know, the different fonts, whatnot, all that different stuff. Text on curve is a new feature that just got added recently. So let me do that again. I messed up clicking that. Cheap shot. We'll make it nice and bold. What did I say? Let's say 0.25 inches high. Eh, let's go a little bit less. Let's say 2.2. Looking good. We can finish our sketch. Hit OK. And there we got our text right on that line. But we need to dig it down. You can either bring it up or dig it down. You're gonna get better results uh, bringing it down. So we're gonna click on that text and we're gonna extrude it. We can come up, we can use a little slider, we can use a little slider to come down, but we wanna come down to 0.05. The same depth as before. If it worked for Potato Society, it works for us. And we're gonna hit okay. Boom, I got my own text in the side now. And you can use that any other place on this that you want, um, you know, whatever you want. But now we want to do is we want to add an image. So let's come over here. Let's add um, let's add an EGA. Let's add an Eagle Globe and Anchor, right? We want to remember that we're going to be three D printing this, so we want it to be fairly high quality. This looks like a great one. So I can right click on this and I can save that as an image, um, and this will be good. 
because I can drop down all this black. What we're going to do is we're going to convert this image to what's called SVG. If I were to use something like this, it may still work, but you're going to have a little bit of issues where a program takes and converts this to just lines is what an SVG is. Um, so black and white, clean images, that works the best. Just Google um, JPEG to SVG. This is the one I use a lot. You're going to upload your files. It'll convert it just a couple seconds, and then it'll download it again. So once you have that SVG file downloaded, how do we get this onto our part? Well, once again, we're going to click that surface, and we're going to make a sketch. Once again, are we noticing a trend? So let's get that image in here. We want insert SVG, and we want to find where we downloaded that. Now, if you click it, you don't see it, that's fine. Just zoom out, it's probably hiding. So let's flip this bad boy around. Let's drag him over kind of in place. And let's make him 0.25. Drag him over. Now that I've dragged that 0.25 reset, so now I'm at 0.1. So if I were to go 0.25 again, he's gonna get super smaller. I'm gonna go like 0.75. I drag, remember it reset again. 0.75. If I don't drag, see what I mean? I can now go to 1. 0.1, it gets super small. Um, we'll do 0.6. Kind of drag it in there. Uh, that looks about good. So I'm going to hit Finish Sketch. And you'll see what I mean by how the lines are on there. See how it kind of did the outline? Pretty, pretty gnarly, huh? Now, something that I can do is I can hit the sketch. Well, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, just for uh, ease of some simplicity's sake. So what I want to do is I want to extrude all this down. So I'm going to click on something. I'm going to hit extrude. And I don't want to type anything yet. Fusion kind of messes up. But I just want to come in here and click all these little things that I want it to extrude down. So it's going to take me a second. Let me uh, speed up while I click all these. All right, we've got them all selected. We want to come down here to distance, and same thing, negative 0.05. It's going to take a second. We'll hit OK. And then bada bing, bada boom. We got our image. Well, once Fusion thinks for a second. Boom. There it is. So remember, these little fine details, you know, 3D printing, it shouldn't be a problem with this. But the finer the details, the harder it might be, um, depending on how you're doing your print. Especially because this item in particular is going to be printed like this. So it might have some issues on this axis, on this axis, getting these fine details. Um, but I'd roll with that. I think it'd be perfectly fine. Um, it'd be better if you printed it like this, but don't print this part like that. So anyway, that's how you do it. And you can do that anywhere. Uh, and it's super fun and it's super easy. So if you enjoyed this, please uh, like and subscribe. Down in the description, there's a Discord where you can ask me more technical questions. I'll be more than happy to help. There's only so much I can do here on YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.